Hello everyone, it's Chris here and I'm back with another short short tutorial on something that I found very, you know, I found something that's very awesome to have if you're developing in Java um, and especially if you want to create Java Swing applications, uh, GUI, GUI apps, which I do and I've been looking for something like this for a while and I found, finally found something. So uh, it is a GUI designer tool from Google that you can use to create Swing applications, like uh, like you do in Visual Studio with C Sharp and Visual Basic. So what you're gonna do is you have to go to this link. I'm gonna have it in the description. Then you go to download. And you want to download the GWT designer. Click on the download here, and you want to copy the URL uh, of you know the URL of, uh, depending on what ver version of Eclipse you're using. So if you use Indigo as I am, the latest, just copy this one and go into your Eclipse. Click on Help, install new software, paste paste the code in here and let it work for a second and you should get two two check boxes just you know check both of them click on next and yeah just click ok it's fine <coughs> and now you get all these I'm just gonna install everyone all of them I guess so just click next and accept and then finish and just let it install I mean this has really re really helped me when designing GUI applications for with Swing you know, normally it's a pain in the ass and it gives you a warning uh, but you know you download it from Google so I guess it's safe so just okay and then just restart restart Eclipse and it says in the startup splash what version you have if you're on unsecure on it so it said in indigo for me that means I have this version yeah alright now what you wanna do is click on this little drop down list here uh, swing user interface click on that and just finish and this will install everything that you need for it just make sure you have that checked and finish it's gonna install a bit more Restart. And there you go. You should now be able to create GUIs. So, you know, let's try. Uh, I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna click on this drop down swing I'm gonna create a e-frame one thing to note when you create a new e-frame is that it will create a main method for you you do not need that because you already have one or I do so if you you know you, you probably want to have at least one main method of course but you don't need it for every single e-frame alright so you have the code here click on the design button down here it should parse everything and stuff and here's the layouts I'm gonna s drag that a bit and here's all the different uh, items different components and you should have a structure to 
tab, uh, a structure window also. You might have it on the on the x-axis like this, but I have it up here, and this gives you, uh, you know, information about the current selected components. So I can change the title, resizable. I don't want it to be resizable. Uh, the default close operation, maybe hide and close. I can change the background icon, everything. I can. Oh, also one thing. Um, go if you go into the source, you will see that he has a set a layout. Um, that causes uh, a bit of problems uh, when you design. So just set layout to null, or you might want a layout. But if you set the layout to null, and if you go back into the designer and try add something like a label, you s you see you can place it wherever you want. If you don't, uh, you will be restricted to certain areas. So that's not good, or it might be good for certain, you know, certain occasions. But normally, I do not want it. I do not use that. So that's that. Everything is set up, and you should be able to create your own GUI apps way easier than coding everything to code it that's horrible so yeah thanks for watching i hope i hope i've helped something someone with it so later